Hey guys, Scope Scripter here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate in Roblox Studio quickly and easily. So first, you're going to select Plugins, and then you're going to click on Build Rig. You'll be presented with two options, R15 and R6. Doesn't matter which one you choose, just remember that R15 animations don't work with R6, and R6 doesn't work with R15 animations. So, I'm going to be using R15, and you guys can use R6 if you want, but I'm going to be doing this, and then once you've selected your thing, click Block Rig. Now, you should have some sort of rig inside your game, which it'll say dummy, of course, but it's a rig. And once you've done this, this is fine, and you can use this if you want, but I think it looks a little bland. So, what we're going to do, we're actually going to just customize this. You don't have to, um, but I'm just going to customize this a bit. I find the best way to do this is to just get a character from the toolbox. I'm just going to search for man. You just click on any one of these, and you can just open up the character and take the clothing, shirt, pants, all that, and just drag it right into the dummy, and it looks a lot better like this. And I'm just also going to be changing the skin color, because, you know, to make it look a bit more realistic. Anyways, guys, once you've finished customizing your character, you can also rename it if you want, by the way. But once you've finished customizing your character, we can start animating. Important note before we get started, do not anchor this. If you anchor this, then it will not work. Alright, let's start. So you're going to go to the plugins tab, and you're going to select animation editor. And this should open up. Now, all you got to do to start is you're going to click on your rig. So I clicked on Tom, and we're going to be naming our animation. I'm going to name it YouTube Animation. And then you just hit enter to start. And now here's the actual animating part. So to animate, all you got to do is click on a body part and just like rotate it or move it. If you want to use the move tool instead, you can just like move right up here, like that. And you can just rotate it and move it. And here, down here is a slider that you can use to check the timeline of the animation. So you can kind of see, I don't have much of an animation right now, but I'm just going to keep going, like rotating, scaling some things, you know, just kind of making an animation over here. And now if we want to test this, all we got to do is press this play button right here. So as you can see, this is my animation. And if we want to loop it uh, and test how it'll look with the loop it animation, we can just press this right here, and it will continue looping. And yeah. So I'm just going to make it a looped animation, so I'm just going to keep this on to make it a looped animation. Um, so anyway, now we're going to click these three dots, and we're going to press export. Once you're happy with your animation, you're going to press export. And you can rename it here if you want. And then you have to put a description, or you're not allowed to upload. Um, I don't know why that is, but just put a description, and then it will present you with this link. Click on the link, and then right up here you'll see your animation, and you can just go up here and copy that asset ID. And then you can go back down here, close this out, close this out, and you'll see a thing called Anim Saves inside Tom, or whatever your character name is. Now inside of your rig, you're going to insert a script, and inside of that script you're going to insert a animation. You're going to open up properties, and you're going to select animation, and you're going to view the properties of this animation, and you'll see animation ID. Paste your um, ID there, you know, your asset ID right there, and then we're inside the script, we're just going to write this right here. And once you've done that, it should work. So if we go and we run this right now, Tom, or whatever, should play the animation, and it is looped, because we did check loops. If you want, if you don't want it to be looped, what you can do for your animation is just go into animation editor and uncheck this right here, and that's how you toggle looped animation. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If this helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.